will consider chip formation in machining ductile materials later we consider chip formation in machining brittle materials okay so during continuous machining the uncut layer of the work material just ahead of the cutting tool is subjected to almost all sided compression as indicated in the figure okay this is the figure which represents this is the figure which represents the formation of chips during machining operation okay so this is the work material this is the uncut chip or this is part of the layer of the work material so this is work material layer so after machining so this will result in generation of a chip or this layer will be removed from the work material in the form of chips okay this is the work material this is the cutting tool this is the chip material removed in the form of chips okay so during continuous machining the uncut layer of the work material uncut layer of the work material is denoted by this portion of the this portion in the figure this is the uncut work material okay so and it is just ahead of the cutting tool so this is the cutting tool so just ahead of the cutting tool means so this is the this is just ahead of the cutting tool this one okay is subjected to almost all sided compression so here you can see the forces so these are so compression compressive forces okay and this force is applied by the cutting tool so if you observe this figure this is the resultant force of the cutting tool and this resultant force is having two components so one is normal force another one is frictional force normal force is denoted by n and frictional force is denoted by f so this normal force is because of the longitudinal feed because of this longitudinal feed there will be normal force frictional force is because of the contact between the tool and the work material okay because of this there will be friction and there will be frictional force so we, here we are considering the resultant force that means we are considering both normal force and frictional force so with the help of these two components so we are going to get this resultant force okay and this is a compressive force this will be acted in this direction which tends to compress the material so that's why it is also a compressive force next so there is another compressive force it is due to the work material okay since work material tends to move downwards okay so because of this there will be a compressive force work material tends to move downwards because of that also there will be compressive force so because of compressive force from the work material and the cutting tool so we are able to get almost all sided compression so from this end and from this end so this is the almost all sided compression okay so here material will be removed in the form of chips so that means it will be removed layer by layer so this is one this is an indication of one layer okay so when compressive forces act on the layer of the work material then shear stress started developing in this portion in this layer okay and this layer shear force or shear stress started building okay and it will build in all directions like this shear because of the compressive forces shear compressive forces result in formation of shear stress in the layer of the work material okay when this shear stress reaches are exceed the shear strength of the material okay then so there will be formation of crack or then there will be yielding okay so if this shear stress reaches or exceeds the value of shear strength of this material then there will be yielding that will results in formation of a crack okay and again as the stress value increases 
okay so the crack will result in separation of the material in the form of chip okay so because of this compressive forces there will be shear stress in the layer of the work material and this because of the shear stress or the shear stress will continuously increase and when the shear stress value yeah, goes beyond the shear strength of the material then there will be yielding okay so because of yielding so there will be separation of the this layer of the work material and this will move forward okay so as it come out of the tool and work interface okay so then shear stress will decrease so then again the work material will further move downwards next layer so will come to this region again compressive force will act on that layer similarly yielding will occur and that will be removed in the form of chips again work material will further advance shear stress will be developed when the value of shear stress reaches the shear strength okay so shear strength of the material then again crack takes place and that crack will propagates and it will results in separation of the this layer in the form of chips okay this is how it will work the force exerted by the tool on the chip arises out of the normal force n and frictional force f yeah, this is the normal force and this is the frictional force due to compression shear stress develops within the compressed region in the in different magnitude so here shear stress will develop in this region so this is the layer of the work material okay shear stress will develop and continuously it will go on increasing okay shear stress will increase and at a, a certain point it will it will reach a point where it will be equal or it will be more than the shear strength of the material when the shear stress exceeds the shear strength of the material then yielding takes place because of yielding so there will be separation of this layer of the material okay due to compression shear stress develops within the compressed region this is the compressed region so here shear stress develops in different it directions okay so in different magnitude in different directions and rapidly increases in magnitude so this will increase increase go on increasing and it will so cross the value of shear strength of the material whenever and wherever the value of the shear stress reaches or exceeds the shear strength of that work material in the deformation zone yielding or slip begins resulting in shear deformation in that region and initiating separation in the form of a small crack along the plane of maximum shear stress so this is the plane of maximum shear stress okay so this is the plane of maximum shear stress okay so the forces causing the shear stresses in the region of the chip quickly diminishes so this will diminish because as this this move further okay when it come out of the tool and work part okay so this region so again so there will be no force acting on the chip so because of that it will diminish the forces causing the shear stress in the region of the chip quickly diminishes and finally disappears while that region moves along the tool rake surface towards and then goes beyond the point of chip tool engagement okay so this is the point of tip tool tip tool engagement okay so here this is the tool and this is the chip so this 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 is the point of chip tool engagement okay so when this material move further so then there will be no chip tool engagement because of that so there there will be no stresses there will be no stress on the material as a result the slip or shear stop stop propagating long before total separation takes place so that means that chip will not get complete separation so if it 
separate completely then so you are going to get broken chips instead of a continuous chip in the meantime the succeeding portion of the chip starts undergoing compression followed by yielding and shear this phenomenon repeats rapidly resulting in formation and removal of chips in thin layer by layer so here this is one layer of the chip okay so as shear stress re, uh, reaches the shear strength value or it exceeds the shear strength value so then this will partially it will separate and it will come out okay then again work material advances so shear stress will be on next layer again that will be separated again it will further advance new layer okay so material will be removed layer by layer in the form of chips and in this case in case of ductile material you are going to get continuous chip the reason is so before complete separation before complete separation so the work material will move further so that there will be no tool chip contact okay so because of that there will be no complete separation 